Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Astro Narc. I've said it once, I'll say it again. I like roguelikes and I like auto battlers, and they need to be, they need to kiss more. And that's what this is. This is the love child of those genres. Uh, and I'm very excited to check it out. The reviews for this are fantastic for the people who have played it. And I am incredibly excited to hopefully be one of those people who uh, seems to love this game. So let's check it out right here. Uh, the art style? These men are long. <laughs> and I am excited about it. Uh, I have no, like, we could sit here all day. Oh my god, look at all these. We could sit here all day and create a perfect team, I'm sure. But I think, like, since I'm new, let's just bring a, you know, we got a tank here. Uh, permanently increase your max HP by 10 for every battle. Your party have been victorious. It's a passive ability. First time you reduce below 50%. Increase your attack and defense by 20. And heal. So, the gladiator seems like more of a typical... Uh, typical kind of a healer. We got a mage table here. This is straight up just this is a this is a, a black mage. I'm gonna take it. Attacks against you. Wait, attacks against you. Your attacks and your active ability have a 50% chance to apply frost, which reduces speed. I, you know, they really lay it out there for you. If this is great. If you're gonna be play, if you're gonna be making an auto battle or uh, an auto chess game, your stuff, like. To somebody, this may be, you, know, you look at this, you're like, wall of text, ewe. But if you're playing an auto battler, you want all the information, you know? Uh, so this table is confusing to me. Your attacks burn your target and adjacent enemies for 40% of attack damage over time. Aegis, you and all adjacent heroes gain shield equal to your defense. Sure. Wait, only three heroes? Oh, I can tell that this is <laughs> the kind of thing that you'll really want to... Uh, come back and play and make even better teams heal the weakest adjacent heroes what happens if we drag it doesn't like that okay so we got a paladin a juggernaut and oh man i kind of want the pyromancer instead if i'm gonna be honest let's do the pyromancer all right let's do it look at <laughs> look at them go oh the hopping greetings hero do you know why you're here this is the day of the astronaut after all Astrarch? Centuries ago, it was foretold that an evil would enter the realm and a group of hidden guardians would surface to defeat it. The guardians were said to be born of the sky and thus became known as the Astronarch. Who are you? Ah, uh, friend! I sense the day the Astronarch was upon us and traveled here to guide you. There is more to discuss, but time is fleeting. The capital will be targeted. We will meet at the city gate. Before you go, I shall provide a blessing. Oh, max HP by 10% up, defense by 20%, attack by 10%. All heroes reduce the cost of their active ability. This is so interesting. The amount of customization options I've been presented already is fantastic. Um, let's go. Big number. Oh, slay the spire chart. Let's go. Um, okay. Constructs of the runes are known to ward off intruders with their stalwart defenses and ability to use a target's own mana against them or heavy armored travelers bypassing their defenses and slowing any attempts at healing their wounds. That seems like maybe not what we want to go for. Or strongest in health and speed and have evolved. You know what? Let's just go with the normal battle up here then. You know, I kind of dig that. The, the, the hopping in a way. A piercing attitude. Move your heroes if you would like them to change targets. Okay, so he's going to attack all... You're attacking there, and we're all attacking here. So this is the damage dealt, damage taken. Oh, that's a... Good. Good. Gang. Greed's good. All right, let's check it. <laughs> you know, the visuals are, are very fun. I gotta say. They are... <laughs> the, little, the gentle slowly moving forward is so funny to me. Uh, okay, so we can select the reward. One, 25 gold matches the value of the highest quality item. 10% uh, speed. Your attacks also poison your target. We should also probably look at our uh, all of our abilities at this point. Defense and speed. Uh, start of target, gain 20 attack for 6 seconds. So everybody has their own, like, their own separate sections there. They, they can have three items. 
Um, but let's... Let's continue in this path for now, but let's see. Can we... Oh, we can swap it at any time. Take that, auto chess games. So let's, let's read up on our abilities now for a second. So we have the Juggernaut. The first time you reduce below 50% max HP, increase your attack and defense by 20, and heal for 15% max HP. Okay, over 10 seconds. Protected. Protected means any effects with the keyword are hidden and cannot be removed. Okay, so good deal. So that cannot be removed in any way. So when he goes below 50%, he will do that. That is going to happen. That's good news. Brute Force, so that's probably his ability when he charges up his mana. Deal 200% attack damage and stun your target for 3 seconds. It's probably a good call. Uh, let's see. You and your adjacent sh heroes gain shield equal to your defense. Okay. Your attacks burn your target and any adjacent enemies for 40% attack damage over 10 seconds. Gotcha. Relatively straightforward. And you are the Pyromancer. Your attacks and attacks against you burn the enemy for 30% attack damage, which is 20. Okay. Over 10 seconds. Good deal. So we're going to do more damage uh, right away. So that's pretty good. Detonate, deal 50% piercing attack damage, and detonate any burn effects on your target, removing them and instantly dealing the remaining damage instantly. I feel like this item is genuinely really good on this character. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Uh, the Pyromancer did by far the most there. Let's check this. I guess we should see what you do. You gain 10% of the, the mana power expended by enemies and gain one negate. So what happens if he dies? That's my big question. Wait, your attacks burn your target for 20 damage over 10 seconds. Uh, hold on. Removing, detonate any burn effects on your target. I mean, sure. A minor blessing is a small increase to your attack, defense, or sp speed, or heal over time effect. 22 defense. Honestly, that sounds like not a bad idea either. Let's just, I feel like fire man get fire sword more at 11, right? Oh, he's got a little accordion. And we can buy ourselves an item. Okay, here, maybe we can get... Heal 2% max HP every two seconds. That seems like that might be really good on our Juggernaut here. Uh, wow. I... Guys? This is like a, a classic case of make sure you don't judge a book by the cover. Because... The, sis the systems in this are very interesting. Okay. So we, I feel like we probably don't need to bother going to a merchant. Okay, let's uh, let's check out how is this going. You are going to, you're going to both attack him. What if we split that up more like this? Lizard runt. Um, I feel like your damage over time will be better spent on him because he's a bigger target. So since we've got like a more dots. I think we might want to have them blow up because watch we're gonna do a burst like a big old burst right here boom yes i think that was a good call oh but of course okay right click wait Ooh, active items all heroes gain seven mp on attack for six seconds i love it when auto battlers do give you like a little thing to to dink with uh your attacks deal additional damage equal to 30 percent of your defense Upon being knocked out, deal 100% or 100 piercing damage to all unique enemies. Or all enemies unique. Okay. Your first 10 attacks grant MP. I'm thinking of going with this hatchet. Who's got really... You got 50 defense, you got 40 defense. Uh, do you... What is your attack speed? Do we... Is speed the attack speed? Your speed is not very good even. So 10% is probably not that good. A flat would probably be better. Uh, your attack steal. You know what? Have this hatchet. It's, it's an epic hatchet. I love how strong these items seem. Let's finally let's finally go to a different zone here. I love how strong the items seem, because that means that you can really s potentially switch up your builds. Okay, I mean that's. What do you do? Heals allies for one percent of their max HP per second. Passive ability: allies ca gain a shield equal to ten percent of their max HP. Active ability. Okay. Your attacks reduce your target's speed by 3% and apply Ruin. Ruin makes healing effects reduced. So, you know what? Let's uh, definitely switch this up here. Uh, I think that might be better. I am Ent is the name of the fight there. 
Okay, here comes the detonate. Good. Oh, we're gonna see what happens when somebody dies. Or not. It's close. I'm super curious what happens when somebody dies. Uh, you and all your adjacent allies gain 10 shield per second. When an ability, when an enemy uses an active ability, deal 30 piercing damage to them. Uh, every three times you attack, apply either frost or burn for 50% attack damage. I, I'm a stinker. I'm a little stinker. I, I I'm gonna just let's go. Let's go die at the elite battle. Let's see how tough, how tough is an elite battle? Oh my god, look at this guy. All right, so let's do something like this. I guess we'll have you be further away. I don't know. I don't know if that matters here. Damage taken, obviously the paladin. Damage healed, good stuff. All right, increased attack. Go, 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 go. I feel like he's gonna get. Uh... Okay, so he got the frost on him there, which reduces their speed and increases their ah, it increases their active ability cost. All right, so that is what happens. They get knocked out. Blessed be. All right, good. Uh, your attacks increase your speed. Okay. Start of combat. Gain 150 shield. Attackers have a 25% chance to give you a minor blessing. This is a little bit tougher here. So does speed... I, I, just, I do want to know if speed is attack speed or if everybody is just kind of like doing their thing, you know? Sturdy ability or or drop on a hero to improve their passive ability. What is their pass? The passive is the top ability. This game is this case. This is so. These systems are fantastic. Sixty percent of the attack damage. It's been upgraded. Oh my god! All right, so let's go to an event. Effects which only mention attacker attacks or attackers do not work with active abilities. Ah, uh, lose bound elements, lose searing edge, lose, oh my god, this stuff sucks. Wait, oh, duplicate, oh my god, this is, oh, wait a minute, this is really cool. Uh, duplicate, oaken knot, Salem shadow boots. But lose the watcher's hatch, oh, this is tough. This is such a cool event, though. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we got any of the... Like, this is the only one that I'm considering, but I don't think I want to do that. That's a, It's a tough one. Duplicate the Whirlwind Axe, but lose Bound Elements. It seems like it's maybe trying to um, prioritize things of the same quality. Unfortunately, I don't think I want to trade that right now. I... I that is a very cool event, though. I love that it's a thing. Let's go up so we can go to the elite battle up there. <laughs> this guy. All right. Um. Okay. Cool. So do, do our characters? Well, first of all, what's in our? Oh, okay. So that's that's just our backpack down there. How does mana charge up? Does it just is it just over time, or does do they get more based off of attacks? Like, ta doing attacks or taking damage. That's my big old Q with the D here. Alright, come on, get that ability, get that ability, boy! Ah, The good news is, I don't think they have any penalty for getting uh, knocked out. I don't think that there's any kind of real issue with that. Chance of a, uh, Attacks have a chance to apply Frost. When losing 20% of your max HP to a single hit, gain a shield equal to 5% of your max HP, deal 3 piercing damage. Maybe. When losing 20% of your max HP to a single hit, gain a shield equal to 5% of your max HP. Deal 3 piercing damage. Unique. Hmm. It's getting tougher. We could also take the money. I, I, I guess that's definitely an idea. That also gives the defense. I feel like that should be on the same guy. You know, you take that. You get the speed. You take the speed. And let's get on up to that uh, that shop up there. Oh, hello. You know what? You do that. You go for it. You go for it, buddy. 
Immune to stun, disarm, and silence. Good, he can be set on fire. Once defeated, a roaming sentinel appears. Ah, gain to negate, prevents a negative effect. E.g. like fire. Uh, fortification. Deal piercing damage to all enemies equal to your defense. I see. Don't talk to me or my son ever again! Okay. Your attacks deal 100% attack damage to your target if they have any shield. Attackers have a chance to get a minor blessing. 5 defense, 10 speed. Hmm. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Sure. Oh, we got another upgrade orb. Can we do it here? Fully upgraded. 90%? It went from 60 to 90. What, what Was it 30? Gain an ability orb. All heroes lose four attack permanently. A random ability is upgraded. Lose 10 morale. Uh, What's morale? What's morale? I don't know what morale is. As the heroes leave the area, their air appears to get cleaner. The odd energy dissipates. Okay, so we should have... We got 126 books. Upgrade. Drop on an item? You can upgrade an item? I love this game. <laughs> I love this game. Oh my god. And we can buy a potion. There's so many like elements that feel so um slay the spire-esque in in like polish levels. We can oh we can sell items. That's interesting. Maybe we do Oh, the fact we can sell immunity to burn. Let's see if there is there's anything really good. Plus 10 attack, minus 20% speed. Your attacks have a 15% chance to stun the target. Strawberry attack and active ability damage you take has a 12% chance to be prevented. There's some really cool stuff there. But alas, we're going to move on. We're going to head over to the boss very shortly here. Uh, I kind of want to get two attackers on you, one attacker on you. And I want him to eventually attack you. We do still have our mana, but I think that it might be best to save that potion for the boss. All right, here comes. Okay, well, this is actually kind of awkward. The explosion was on uh, a less big target there. But it's okay, we're all good, we're all good. This is definitely a little bit tighter of a fight, though. 100% a little bit tighter of a fight. Ah, but of course. Okay. Increase your max HP by 10 per second. Does not increase your current HP. Oh. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Because then we can put him here. You can be our main tank. You can then slowly tank uh, damage over time. Oh my god. That's so cool. Slowly tank damage over time. You will last. You'll heal yourself up. In that, all the while, shielded paladin man will slowly getting, be getting 2% max HP every 2 seconds. Oh mama. Oh mama, that's good. Alright, so who are you attacking? Can I make... I can't, okay, I was just making sure. So what's silence? Uh, all enemies are silenced. Th mana drains for three seconds. Okay. Uh, in ruin, healing effects received are reduced. Either of you heal. Fully heal the weakest ally and apply poison to them. For 50% of the amount healed. I mean... Alright, I'll keep this in mind if things are looking sketchy and they're getting a second ability off. But I'm super curious to see how this goes. Rampage. Alright. Alright. So now you are at a thousand health. You were at a thousand health. So I'm not gonna say that this didn't work. 
I'm not gonna say it didn't work. <laughs> Every five times you attack, you gain one negate. So we could we could actually even put that on him. So he slowly stacks up, and then he's like our he's our off tank who's slowly charging up power over time. But we need a little bit more defense on this guy here. I wonder if we ever get another unit. The amount of slots we have would make me think that that is indeed something that could happen. We're we're full on items, so whatever we do, we have to like make a full on decision, like on what we're gonna get rid of. It would be that. Every five times you attack, gain one negate. When an enemy uses an active ability, deferred piercing. Oh, we get we get to keep it. Oh, this game is like. This game doesn't do any of that stuff that's just stupid, like, just stupid mean for the sake of being mean. Uh, all heroes bleed uncontrollably. All heroes have reduced healing. I don't want to risk anything when our next fight is the boss fight. I don't want to do that. Having two heroes taking coming attacks at once is often a good strategy. <laughs> this guy. So why are you attacking down there? Oh, because you're on the bottom. All right. Well, in the event, would you, who who would take that? Okay, so you go there, then you go there. Sure, because you would you would take the attack over him, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you heal? Uh, enemies lose five defense and take piercing damage equal to eight percent of their max HP every three seconds. Ooh. Well, this guy's still slowly gonna be healing up. Um, deal fifty. Percent attack damage to all enemies, apply disarm, and reduce their attack by five. I see. I think we're going to want to, at the very least, do our mana spring elixir, like ASA pronto. Let's do it. Mana generation up. So we're going to get the uh, good old, hopefully, shields up. Okay, he's not adjacent down there. We should have put him up there because he's not adjacent. Um, I think we're going to be fine still because this explosion. I don't think we need to worry about anything. Ooh. Oh, we are disarmed. We are disarmed. Oh, that was a little bit tighter than I would have liked. Every nine times you attack, deal 250% attack damage to all enemies. Apply burn for 250% attack damage. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, yeah. When you heal a hero by any means, a random damaged hero... Is additionally healed for 30% of the value. I mean, that's really good, too. Uh, this all makes me think that we do replace this, though. Oh, what's this? Improve their active ability. I, The amount of potential customizability and difference. Drag one hero to the... We get to add a whole new hero now? Oh my god. This just gets cooler. Okay. Um well what do we have? What what do you what do you do about frost? Like what what about it? Uh stun for each stack of frost on the enemy. Get get down here, buddy. Oh, we can't put that on you yet? Sure. Let's go. Oh, that's such a cool way. That's, ah, and then we're entering, like, Act 2 or something. Heroes, I'm glad you made it. The town stirs. It's upon us. What is it? I know it's to be a great evil doomed to wander the skies for an eternity, searching for fragments it lost in a battle long past. Fragments? Lost souls. It travels as a single being, forged of millions. It was almost defeated long ago. Much of its structure shattered to the stars. It'll turn even the most valorous soldier into an agent of its desires. As the astronaut, you are resistant to its corruption. You are the key to its defeat. 10% more gold from all sources. Items received from combat are twice as likely to appear upgraded. Uh, gain two potion slots. Healing re received by all heroes is increased by 20%. Seems amazing. Considering we have uh, this with that. And we have the healing passive there. And we have three completely new zones. Uh, cursed creatures make you bleed dry in more ways than one. 
imbued with strong magical abilities. Stifle your healing. So I think we're going to want to stray further from the bottom path than, uh, than the top there. Okay. So we have this stuff. Let's get, let's get this on you, first of all. Okay, so we've upgraded that one there. Passive. Tax burn your target. Burn your target. Let's do it. 80% of your attack damage. I mean, should we... Maybe we should be switching these. Maybe we should be switching those. Hmm. We'll try that out. We'll try that out. Hmm. Interesting. So how much you got 60 defense? It's, it's pretty big. I mean, because we're doing burn damage equal to the attack damage. We want them on the same row because he's going to basically explode the uh the burn from these attacks as well since he's also applying it from nine effects so this is going to be like yeah the, the explosion for that is now going to be huge and this guy's slowly going to be restoring like crazy and he gets basic uh extra effects based off of uh max hp so honestly yeah oh That, I kind of want to have another one. I kind of want another one. We'll put that there. For better or worse. Alright, we'll stay up here because it seemed totally okay to me. Alright. Alright. Knocked out already is ungreat. Oh, knocked out up there is very ungreat. Divine is immune to all damage. So, it looks like we're going to be okay here. I, I've got it on the hot switch. Oh my god, that... Yeah, those double healing things together are brutally strong. Okay, uh-oh, though. The first time you are reduced below 35% max HP, gain... Shield equal to 10% of your max HP and heal the same amount. Mm. Increase your defense by 3 for every active stack of frost. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. That seems very good. Okay. And we'll hopefully get just a lot of extra active stacks of Frost. It makes a lot of sense that the Frostmancer was doing more. Uh, Victory grants a prize scimitar. I mean, I, w I do wish we could, you know, look. Uh, fight Grogan. Hello there, Grogan. Josh Grogan. I feel like a, a single target we do extremely well against. So... Honestly, I'm not really... Oh, he knocked back. You fool. I think that actually helps us because you're just giving him time to charge up. Oh, look at him go. Yeah, you're nothing. Single target, we're like amazing. What? Your max HP is set to 800. Your defense is set to 50. Your max HP and defense cannot be reduced or increased. So that is clearly for a stinky little weakling. Attacks against you. Oh, attacks against... Now, there we... That's... Oh, that's interesting indeed. We can get even more frost stacks. And you can be a tank now. Ladies and gentlemen. This game keeps getting so much better by the second. I am I am floored. Uh, I want to upgrade something. What do we upgrade? Oh my god. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. 
Uh, close that out. Next. The position of the boss on the map reveals his identity. So, okay, so there's three bosses for each zone then, I assume. Gain 100 gold to lose your defense gauntlet. Uh, no. Gain 140 gold to lose 40 morale. I don't know what that means yet. Oh. All right. I, I don't know what that means. Let's let's go to the middle point. See what it looks like. See how things shake out out here. Uh, all heroes gain a random lesser effect permanently. All heroes gain 50 max HP and 5 defense permanently. All heroes reduce the cost of their active abilities by 5 MP permanently. All the heroes gain... Uh, I can't do that. I don't have any money. That's sad. A wonderful choice. Now, it's important you understand the, some of the side effects include the growth of webbing between the fingers and toes. I personally see them as added benefits, but the authorities say otherwise. All right. Let's check an elite battle. Let's... Grave Digger. Let's see how stupid this is. <laughs> Let's see how dumb this is. Oh, it was. That it was. But he's getting frost every time. If we get our... We don't, we're not even going to get our ability off, are we? Yeah, no, that was a bad idea. I, I. Here's the thing, though. If we put this other stuff on him... Not that, because we can't imp increase the defense or anything any higher. Oh, no. Um, we made a grave mistake. Oh, God, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to do the pun. Uh-oh. Heal for one max HP every two seconds, increasing the effect by 1% each time getting hit by an attack and a 20% chance to re reset the effect. Oh, no. Oh, no. Comedy. Oh, no. Comedy achievement. Have 50 positive effects on a hero at the same time. Oh, God. Defeat. For morale. Wait. Item penalty. Item penalty. Wait, what? So... That's... Morale is our eight... Oh, so we've just been doing a really good job. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, this is not a thing. Gain holy water. I don't know. Here, Rose, Hilo, 5 max HP every 3 seconds. Lose 15 gold, 3 holy water, 20 gold. I don't know what that means. So, morale. Okay, once you run out of that, it's over. I see, I see, I see. Let's go for the prayer of healing. Uh, I kind of wanted to go into like, you know, a, an elite battle or something after that. 25% chance to loot, 25% chance the owner returns. Bring it on. Hello there. Barba the Exalted. Armor. Huge armor up. Yeah, I... The prize regalia, like, I like the idea of it, but I feel like we might be better off doing something like that. Right? Well. Oh, that's interesting. That's such an interesting item. I love it. We, You could, in theory, make the Frostmancer a tank. You could. Immune to stun, disarm, silence, always target the enemy with the highest HP. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, your attack is reduced by 450, and you cannot gain MP while you have allies. Okay. Uh, gain 40% speed. If your target is below 50% max HP, gain 30 MP. All right. Yikes. Oh, he hit hard. Oh, he hits hard. However, we heal hard. You fool. You fool, we heal hard. Oh, boy. Play to the fall and the start of combat. Gain divine for 3.5 seconds. Wow. Wow. God, I wonder if there's a way to upgrade the amount of uh, slots you have on a character because I could just see this getting stupid. Uh, morale is reduced to one. Gain six morale. All heroes 
increase the cost of their active abilities by two permanently all heroes gain two defense permanently lose two morale sure spooky but tis what tis let's avoid that ah uh, oh that's a good point those don't have any base stats Ouch. Their HP is cut in half for the next fight. It's a good thing that we are definitely going to just do one of these. Our healing is reduced, so that guy's pretty much... Um, I just realized that like we, there's nothing that's stopping us from just... Um, you know... Changing our items. <laughs> uh, enemies lose three speed every se three seconds. Uh... Stun any adjacent enemies. Okay, so we definitely want to split things up here. Want to split them up by this though. We want the fire one up there. Hmm. I still feel like that w will function just okay, just fine. Uh, let's let's try. It. But yeah, I, I like that. You, I like the backpack system because then, yeah, you're not getting hard countered all the time. Uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, heal. Come on, big boy. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're in there. Definitely, things are getting way tighter. Attack steal additional 30% attack damage to a different random enemy. Your attacks and attacks against you. So does that mean we also burn a different enemy? Chance to deal 50%, uh, 20% chance to deal an additional 50% to the target. Your attacks deal additional damage equal to 15% of the defense of all your enemies. Let's get a gold stash. But it see, like, it, by the same token, it's totally logical to assume it would be a good idea to just stockpile, uh, you know, sell, sell. Attackers, increase your attack by 3 and speed by 3%. Interesting. Potion, all enemies lose 50 mana. Every 50 MP you expend, heal the weakest hero for 100 HP over 10 seconds. Start of combat, you and your adjacent allies gain shield. This is all pretty logical. Can we upgrade this further? We can. Ragnarok. I, I'm in love. I'm in love with this game. Let's go to an event. Okay. Heroes bought a backpack with barely any blood on it. No sign of the owner. Little sense leaving good loot to waste. Okay. Snatch an item and 18 gold pieces. Why not, man? Why the hell not? Okay. Whoa. Okay, apply a major curse. Gain Ruin, Disarm, Silence, Leech, or Revenge. Okay. Gain 150, 1,500 shield. While your shield is active, poison attackers for 3% attack damage. Every 10 seconds, immune to stun, disarm, silence, of course. Sure. Uh, poison attackers. While your shield is active. Oh, shoot. We should have gotten the extra damage to shield. I want to see who would you attack who are you attacking you're always attacking the juggernaut so they try and prioritize their own group first like obviously okay so i want him to be attacked next all right well we're just gonna have to see how it goes huh uh oh. Okay. All right. Here comes. Come on, the big old, the big old slap. We lost our mana there. Gives us more time to hopefully do the big, the big burn. This guy's getting tanky as hell. Okay. Here comes a big explosion. A huge explosion in theory. Oh my god! Massive. Start of combat. Take piercing damage equal to 50% of your max HP, and all heroes gain shield equal to 25% of your max HP. 
Uh, heal a hero by any means. Heal a when you heal a hero by any means. Random damage here is additionally healed. Your attacks heal 30% attack damage to all enemies. So, I'll get that. I'll get that one. We get to add... Yes, of course we do. We get to add another ban. And summon an even stronger man. For each hero that is knocked out, begin healing 2% max HP every 2 seconds and gain 10 attack and defense for the rest of combat protected. Maybe. Heal the weakest adjacent hero for 10% max HP. Remove a random negative effect. Uh, I feel like getting a cleric is not a bad idea. Your attacks and active ability strikes heal you for 2% max HP. Permanently increase max HP. Uh, I feel like... This guy... Knowing that we get more heroes over time... This guy probably was a really logical one to start with. 50% um, attack damage to a random enemy when you heal a hero by any means. Oh. Okay. I don't know who to add. Gain shield. I'll get the cleric. Let's get the cleric. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know. Does it, the divine, does it make sense there? Your attack steal an additional. Wait, how much? You know what? That makes so much sense for you, doesn't it? Just keep you, keep you there, keep you alive. Uh, cause then we can do something like this. Uh, attack. Shh, wait. Yeah, your defense can't go up actually. How much de defense do you have? And how much health do you have? 600 and, tw and then 20. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is... We got some We got some awkward juggling we can do. Okay. All right. Let's make haste. I did not expect to be uh, alive for so long in the run here. A double effects of potions. Gain two potion slots. Double the effects of potions. Normal, normal enemies can no longer be found in events. Items received from combat are twice as likely to be upgraded. Get, enemies can no longer be upgrade or be in events here. All right. Uh, normal boss battle. Normal boss battle. Or normal boss battle. Uh, King's exotic beasts. Home for the mag magic of which they are starved. Uh doesn't say probably kind of jack of all trades rebuff death itself they don't care about dying i i feel like that's a, a rough thing for us to go for all right so we have uh we have some upgrades we can do i don't think we can do that anymore let's get that upgrade there and then let's get who's passive oh it's yours all right so you're divine for the first little bit of this fight anyways. I wonder if there's a speed up. I never even looked. Okay. So far, so fine. And by that, I mean it was, it was definitely spooky. Oh, what's going on with you? You're exploded. That's what. Apply poison to attackers for six damage every second. Attacks apply poison. 10 piercing damage to attackers. Mm. Let's just take the gold for now. All right. Hello, men. Probably should see what they do first. Uh, first 3.5 seconds. So yeah, that... Wait, who has that? Nobody has that on. You don't have that on. I think we should get rid of the Whirlwind Axe. Ooh, we certainly should. Uh-oh. He revived him? Yeah, we should get rid of that, uh, that the Whirlwind Axe for this, I'd say. 
especially if we're gonna have him up there in a sort of like weird janky tanky role like he'll be running he's kind of running our third tank role First 10 attacks grants you 3 MP. Eh. I'll take that. We do have enough to get an upgrade for an item. Joie to upgrade. What does this do? 900 and defense at 65. I mean, that's pretty dang good. That's also pretty dang good. It's also pretty dang good. Let's do it. Big number in pursuit of the big number. Heal all heroes is probably a good call. All enemies gain three frost and have their attack reduced. Is also a very interesting idea, though. Remove all random negative effects from heroes. Let's sell this garbage. Let's get this too, though. All right, we're out of here. We only have 26 bucks. I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense to go to yet another shop just right in a row there. Uh, so you have Divine now. You're both attacking there. I mean, that's fine. Let's check out the... We have the... Th immune. So it, it blocked one attack. E yeah. I don't... I don't like that... That... Uh, I don't like that journey for him. This explosion needs to go big. Uh-oh. 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 How much did we lose? Five morale. We had ten, though. Why did... Why did we not take as much? Should we do the big fight and then go for, like, our potions here? Risk the biscuit? Let's risk the biscuit. <laughs> We, I know we just lost, but what if... The, oh, God. Master of Arms. Uh, 50 starting MP. Rotate your weapon after each attack, altering your speed and applying a different effect. Attacks can either reduce your target's defense by 30, strike twice, strike two additional adjacent enemies. Ooh, so we should spread people out. Is what I'm getting. But you heal adjacent. So if, if there's going to be somebody who's adjacent, it would, should be you, I guess. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm ready on that potion. Uh-oh. That's not... This is a terrible sign. Oh, this is a terrible sign. Okay, so he is getting tankier and tankier. And as far as I'm aware, he doesn't have any, like, hard counters to this guy. So he may just be continually getting better forever. He's targeting the right unit, I would say, there. All things considered. If there's any, like, just one unit who could go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, one would surmise it would be you. Oh, he's disarmed. This is not going to go well. All right. Gee, uh, it's almost like fighting an elite battle when you uh, just lost your last fight is very stupid. Oh, no. Ay, caramba. So why did we... We took five morale for five KOs, but we only took one damage. What's up with that? I'm not complaining, but, like, where's the penalty right now? I, I, I'm confused. We are getting, we are actually getting, like, bodied. I think we need to, I think we need to have you there. I, I, don't, I think we just need to use his cheesy healing ability to actually, like, you know, tank instead. Uh-oh. Instead of just uh, using him as, oh. A secret weapon. This is bad. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. All heroes lose the will to continue and retreat to safety. Okay. There's definitely some systems I need to I need to figure out. We, like with the uh, the morale, I don't know why we lost so little in some points, and and then that fight we lost a lot. I don't know, but I 
love this game. This is a very good hybridization of these two genres and is something that I cannot wait to play more of. I, I'm so eager to figure out how to unlock these characters, to try everything. A completing challenge adds visual upgrades to the taverns. So apparently we already got one. Comedy, 50. Oh, so the, oh, look at that. The achievements add little, uh, little decorations to the tavern. Oh my god. All right, gang, that is going to do it for today. This has been Astronarch. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want more of this. Because, boy, I would absolutely play more of this. I had such a good time. What a pleasant shock uh, at, at how absolutely wonderful the systems of this game are. I, like... There, there's some there, there's there's something kind of like I but like judging a book by a cover there's something about the art style where it looks you know it's it's simple obviously the animation of the combat you know some people are going to be upset about or whatever I I think it, it has like a charm to it uh, actually that I think it I think it trans I think it goes past that layer that like seems like you know, obviously, it was done because it was an easy way to, you know, get all the art assets done, and they were able to uh, do... Like, if you even look at the uh, the weapons and the items and everything, they're, they're clearly, they know what they're doing for visuals and everything. Uh, but, like, once you just get past that, it's st it's like a charming... It's like a charming world and a charming environment to me uh, and charming visuals. But the systems are where this game shine. I've played so many roguelikes... I, I've played so so many roguelikes. I've played so many auto battlers. I played so many deck builders. This combines so many of the best practices that I have ever like every practice in a roguelike that I have ever wanted for customization and really letting having the game let me play what I want and then balancing around me is how I love. Rogue, my roguelikes to be. You look at something like Monster Train. You get stupid stuff in Monster Train. The game is like you get stuff that you are like, why is the game letting me do this? This is broken. This idea is crazy. And then you lose anyways. <laughs> like, but then you come back and you do it again. You have so many more new options to come back and, and and play again and try something else and do something else that you think might be totally broken and get weird combos, and the, the amount of ways you could, like, every option I had, every time I had the ability to upgrade anything, the options I had were massive. Uh, the items were very powerful. They did a lot. Like, each item that you had on a unit was really, made a big difference. The abilities, big difference. The potions make a big difference. All of this makes it so what you're doing matters, and the customizations and the abilities that you have at your disposal at all times are huge. I've played 50, 50 minutes of this. I, I, I am, I am absolutely, I am so impressed. This game is so good. I cannot recommend this enough. Link at the top of the description. Go, go, go get this game. Link at the top of the description. Thank you for watching. My name is Retromation. I put out videos on roguelikes and more every single day. I play I play roguelikes for my job. This one blew me away. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.